All right, another Moscone example versus uh, Justin Bergman. And Europe is up nine to six here. Uh, and I'm down four to three. So a pretty big match here because they put up Shane after Justin. So they were thinking if Justin wins this match, it's 9-7, then Shane wins 9-8. So it was pressure on me, right? I knew I beat Justin before in this tournament. So my team was hoping that I could beat him again. So it was I, of course. I've come up with a dry break. And of course I'm down. I should have shaved for that day, I can see. <laughs> But just again, the mental side of this rack, guys. I'm under the gun. Justin has full initiative of this rack and match because he could put me in a tough spot here. He can't make any balls, but he can really play good safety. Let's see what he does. And I'm hoping for a chance and an inning at the table to do whatever I can stick with it and try to regain initiative a lot of times it's about attitude guys things are not working for you stick with it it can change at any second so justin tried to use the two and the six there to give me a really tough kick i can still see this one I'm trying to bank it towards the left side of the table and also use the two and six as blockers. So I need to put a lot of right spin on this ball to make it past the six ball, otherwise it's gonna hit that ball. And at the same time, I don't want a lot of movement on my cue ball, so very tough shoot shot to execute. Shot clock. And actually I get a little bit fortunate, but also some bad luck in the same shot. I actually make this bank, but the cue ball gets too far on the short rail. And now I'm really in a tough spot, guys. He's up four threes, he's wiping the towel. He's looking at his fans. Like I'm gonna get a chance here. And once again, this is attitude. I have to do whatever I can do to stick with it. Boom. Also an example of how to deal with the shot clock. The shot clock will force you to, to let your intuition take over. On occasion because if you're in trouble and there's no time the only thing you have is your experience your intuition and all those years that you have played the game so here also I have no time I have to go make the three tough shot that was now I'm I'm a little bit over this eight ball with the cue ball. That's why I'm, my face is showing some expression because I cannot uh, draw it back. I have to roll it and I'm thinking, okay, I can just hit the left side of the cue ball. So I'm gonna, trying to cross over to the other side and play the five in the side pocket. There. So again, not the greatest of angle. I have to draw the ball in cue ball has a chance to go towards the left side pocket I still have to get in, in good line here but mentally I'm just letting my intuition do all the talking here I have no more time to uh, go over some nice uh, options or anything now of course I'm in good line again and I can start breathing a little bit easier <laughs> and uh, try to close it out to make it 4-4. And what you also see, guys, that sometimes if you think things weren't going well, right? The other player had the initiative. Now what's happening, I'm reversing the pressure. Justin has been sitting in the chair now, looking at a couple of crazy shots. He had the initiative of this match, and now it's 4-4, and the pressure's on him. 
and luckily for me he made a mistake in the final game. I got to close it out and score the point for our team. So even when things seem hopeless there for a little while, stick with it guys. It's all about attitude. In this next example, we're looking at a match that I played against Mike DeShane at the Moscone Cup. It's the third match of the event. I was up on my, in my first singles match of this event. And this is just an example of when you've done a lot of hard work. I prepared really well for this one. And um, it's to show you the focus that I had in this game. The level of focus, that's what I wanna show you. I did a lot of good solid mental work had a good streak of uh, meditation. I was really clear in my mind. And I just wanna show you the focus that I have going through this rack. It's a little bit of a tricky rack, right? We've only played the, the five on five uh, up to this point. So we didn't get much uh, table time yet. The nerves are there. The speed of the table is still a little bit to be discovered. It's always a little bit different, big crowds, humidity, new cloth, different table brand than the other years. And I just wanna show you the focus and the reward that I give myself practically for doing the hard work before the tournament. My body's really relaxed. That's what we go through in the course, right? A relaxed body and a super sharp focused mind. That's the combination that you need for playing your best pool. It's gotta be balanced. And sometimes you're a little bit too hyped or sometimes you're a little bit too unfocused. So it's not easy to find this crystal clear balance, but when it's there, you have to cherish it. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing in this rack. Right, a little bit of tricky positions. I have to get above this five ball to get back down for the six ball. And the table's so fast, I'm a little bit afraid here of just slow rolling it. So I'm going off the rail. But again, my mind's working well. You see, I see the traps. My intuition's really clicking well. And I'm five balls away from running this rack and tying up the game. Big point in the Moscone Cup, day one. Right, I'm down 2-1 in this match. So if I don't get out here, then it's gonna be 3-1 to Mike. And that could mean that USA's got their first point on the board, 2-1. If I do get out here, it's 2-2. Two -two. Now Mike's gonna feel some pressure again. And if I can take this match, we're up 3-0 on day one. That's like an amazing start, of course, for a team. So once again, I'm starting to click with my position plate. It's falling, uh, it's coming together very nicely. Two balls away from running this rack. And it's just a nice example of giving myself that reward for all the hard work. Right, mentally everything's nice. My body's nice and relaxed. So that's what you get. There you go, two to two. Neil is back in front again. It remains very bleak for America this evening. Win that match and we get ahead three to nothing. <laughs> 